back in Milwaukee and we're going to take advantage of the beautiful summer weather and we're going to make some gazpacho today. Um, gazpacho is a, a Spanish soup, comes from Spain, um, made with uh, chopped vegetables that we're going to puree in a blender and serve cold and we're going to garnish with the same vegetables that we're putting in the blender. So these are the um, vegetables that we're going to use as garnish. They're chopped small and then there's these that we're going to put in. So we have tomatoes, we have cucumber, this is garlic, and red pepper, and this is an Anaheim pepper, and red onion, and then they have a little jalapeno pepper down here for some heat. So I would ask that you uh, follow us on YouTube and like our videos. And we're also at cookingsecretsformen.com on the internet. So the first thing we're going to do in our blender, we're going to put our chopped vegetables. We're just going to put them all in. And we're going to blend this until it gets very smooth. We're also going to add in, this is V8, um, which I like because it has a little, little spice to it. It's not just plain tomato juice. It does have all the vegetables in it. I'm going to put this in. It's kind of cheating because in um, most gazpacho recipes, what you do is whole tomatoes. And eh, this just helps. So we're going to put this on. Very nice. Nice and smooth. Pour in a little bit of vinegar. So we're going to use, um, you can use cider vinegar, excuse me, you can use um, sherry vinegar. I like red wine vinegar. We're going to put in a couple teaspoons of that. And then while this is going, take the top off. We're going to slowly add some extra virgin olive oil, about a quarter cup, and as you slowly put it in, it'll emulsify within the gazpacho. So after we've done that, we're going to add in about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and that gives it a little hearty taste. We're going to add in some fresh ground pepper, and then we're going to add in a little bit of cumin. Cumin will give it a little earthy flavor, and it really goes well with the tomatoes and veggies. All righty, take that out. A little salt and a little more pepper. All right, so we're going to cool this. Let the um, let the flavors kind of meld together and come back and put the dish together with our garnishes and we're also going to use some croutons and see you in a little bit. Alright we're back we've let the gazpacho chill and let the spices and all the taste come together so to finish the dish very simple you can either pour it into a bowl, like that, or this is more elegant, more fancy, a little cocktail glass. Right. And then we're going to do a little basil chiffonade. So that's just basil that you roll up into a little roll there, and you just slice into little ribbons. You can see it's just little basil ribbons. We're going to put those on top. Put a little garlic crouton. And then from this little melange of um, vegetables, put a 
a little bit of whatever you like. So that's a little cucumber. Put a little avocado on. Maybe a little diced onion and some red pepper. And maybe a little more of that. Very good. Alright. So there you have it. This is our very simple gazpacho. Uh, the only time, thing that takes a little bit of time is uh, letting the spices come together. So serve it in a bowl, serve it in a cup, and appreciate you watching. Check us out on YouTube, and we'll see you again next time. Thank <laughs> you.